<laughs> so leave that piled up down there. Yep. Oh yeah. We'll we'll get an after shot, that's for sure. Ugh. What's going on everybody? Chris here. Um, at my father-in-law's house today and we're gonna take a look at my car so I get a lot of questions about uh, how the car is holding up with all the dirt roads that I drive on so if you're not familiar with my channel I drive at least six miles of dirt roads every day some days more people are curious about things like the shocks uh, the underbody and stuff like that so my father-in-law has been working on cars for a long time I mean I've seen this guy like take apart an engine and put it back together not that I have an engine but you know, you get the point. Uh, he knows what he's doing. So we're gonna lift the car up. I don't know exactly everything we're gonna look at, um, but some of the main things that I wanna see are of course the shocks. I wanna look at the tread on the tires. So I'm driving the all wheel drive version of the Model 3. I wanna see if they're wearing evenly. And then the other thing I'm super interested in is if I'm collecting dirt in the bottom. So there was a little controversy. Uh, people were finding that the one of the aero shields in the back of the car on the bottom is collecting dirt. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna see if there's like a bunch of dirt or anything in there. I'll put timestamps below, so feel free to look at those. Let's check it out. So I picked up these lift pads from Amazon. They came in a box of four. They had good reviews, and if they work well for us, I'll put the link in the description. You need these to lift the car. The car has four lift points on the bottom, and this top part uh, fits into there, and then you can you can put your jack under this and, and pick up the car, and that way you avoid damaging the battery. Okay, so far looking under here, Everything looks pretty good. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything loose uh, or anything uh, broken under there. It's just, it's just really dirty. Yeah, okay. that stays level as it goes off. So we took, had, had to take this cup off because uh, this isn't fitting under the car. Uh, our original plan was to put this block here and lift it like that, but uh, the car is too low. But that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little piece of rubber there. And we're gonna start lifting. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. We got the parking brake on and we got a two by four in front of the front wheel. It's lifting that front tire too. <laughs> oh, that's what's gonna do. It wants to lift the whole side. Yeah, let me go move this. So we have this two by four here, which obviously at this point isn't doing anything. So. Okay. All right. So there's that. I can put a jack stand right there. Okay. And because you know this is the whole rear knuckle assembly. This all this cast aluminum holds the bearing. And everything there's the shock absorber right there all right some of this is familiar they didn't reinvent everything oh yeah <laughs> the, the chassis the suspension is uh basic that's like a uh i'm not sure how many link five link four link five link this is well now when we get the wheel off all right but let me see if i can get a jack stand in that area we might have to take the off Go. Cool. Oh. Oh. Let's see what this this will fit. Yeah. Go a little higher. So I think I was setting this right under here. Boy, you could put it under that shock too if you had this on. So it's got to go higher. You want to jack it up? Yep. How long have you been working on cars? How long have I been working on yeah. cars? Yeah. Uh huh. How about? about 50 years all right <laughs> and you worked for uh one of the big three the big one the big one nice huh yeah now that thing's full of dirt huh that's steel that's the spring right there so i mean i could put it under the shock comfortably i could even put it back here but let's just put it under the shock i think it's a little bit there Oh, we'll just grab both of these. Grab the whole area right there. That should be very strong. Cool. All right, ready? Yep. Easy if you can. Go. There you go. Very good. Good job. Perfect. 
this so, now so they can see what we you did. Can, you can hose that off if you want to. And I'll put this cool. bolt right here, okay? Yeah. That's supposed to be dirty. Well, it is, but <laughs> now that we got it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, this piece. All right, so now you want to put the jack over here. So that's the exposed part. This is the interior. Absolutely, you don't need to take that plastic off. I just wanted to see what all that was made out of, but it will fit right there. Okay. I'll grab another one and we'll take I, it. I got it. Because you know okay. you really want uh, safety anyway. Yep. That's what you see in a lot of the videos with this kind of stuff. People use the jack and hold the car up, and everybody in the comments is yelling at them. Use jack stands, you idiot! Yeah. Gotta go up a little more and I'm just gonna slide it like right. Okay. You wanna go up? Go ahead and yeah, I got jack it. it up. Tell me when. Keep going. Does the other stand look yeah, good? Yeah, it looks good. Now you can ease her down. Okay, here it comes. Okay, just barely fits in there perfectly. I mean, it, it fits like a glove. Well, maybe they did that on purpose. So. Cool. Oh, this is different than I thought. These pieces. Okay, so we're under here. It's hard to give you context, but it's like the very back of the car. This is the aero shield. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be missing, but there's no bolt here. And when you go to the left, you got a bolt there. And on the right, you got a bolt over there. So I think I need to take these two off. And that'll let... Oh, jeez, I'm getting dirt all over the place. That'll let this aero shield drop down. Now, I do see, if you look here, there is... Oh, sorry, I keep getting dirt in my face. Let me get over here so you have a little more context. Um, so this part is open, but there's a big lip. I don't know if you can see. Maybe if I go up here. This is really hard to film, but there's a big lip. It goes up, and then this is kind of down a little bit. We're going to open this and see. Sweet. All right, now we got the real tools going on. I just don't want to get a bunch of dirt in my face. Okay. Ah! 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 okay, so you got. Oh, this is. Wait, there's more. There's a couple here. You got some glasses. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> yes, they are. Okay, so this piece, you see this? Yeah, is kind of. Under I use this piece. Too. You know, it looks a lot more professional. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd fit. Is the problem? Oh, I think you would. I don't know how to get. I don't know how to get this. Oh, away from that. Yeah. You want take that these one? out and try it. Okay. There's no, nothing there. Okay, take that one. Okay, cool. Okay. You might want to move out of there now. I know. Off to the side. Okay. See, you can get it. I do see some buildup up there a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Well, I still think you're gonna have to, because it overlaps so much. Oh yeah, there we go. That's dropping pretty good now. Okay, now if you hit the middle one, you might have enough. I don't know. This this one? Yeah, see it in the middle? Yeah. Okay, hold on, wait. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, dump yeah. it all on me. Ugh. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I'm still thinking. What, are we missing something on this? There's, oh. oh man, are we gonna be able to put this stuff back together? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, no problem. All right, sorry, some vertical video for you here. So you can see there is, if I pull this out. Yeah, that's just dirt. It's not a rock, it's just caked up dirt. Oh yeah, look at that. So let me stick my camera up in here. Let's see what we can see. Oh buddy, look at that. So that is for sure collecting some stuff up there okay so I can't really see what I'm filming but I do see a bunch of little looks like looks like pebbles but it's just dirt that's kind of caked up in there okay so we took the tire off and you can see up in that shield hold on let me focus you can see look at all of that that's like a bunch of dirt so you know again driving on dirt roads a lot of course is making this worse than for most people but still this is gonna have to be you know like a <laughs> yearly or bi-yearly maintenance thing for me i think here it comes there you go no, you can pull either side down and... 
You can probably pull that one down even more, huh? There you go, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. So leave that piled up down there. Yep. Know. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get an after shot, that's for sure. Ugh. <laughs> can you breathe? <laughs> That's the motor right there. That's pretty cool. Nice and clean. <laughs> yeah, the motor's clean. <laughs> well, you know, to be fair, there wasn't much dirt here. It was all back oh, okay. in this piece, and then we put it there. So. No, 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 not that. I'm going, hold on. I'm going in the back. I'm looking in the back. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think we got, yeah, can you pull that down a little bit? I think we got pretty much, every, yeah, it's all, I mean, it's dirty in there, but it's just like, there's not big chunks of dirt all over the place now. That is ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. I can't see my phone is covered in dirt, so I can't see what I'm filming here. This is the dirty Tesla. Yeah, that's that's a lot of dirt. So that's definitely, uh, well, what's your opinion? That's a pretty big design flaw, huh? You don't have any cars that are holding that much dirt in that you've ever seen. Uh, or have you have you yeah, seen other cars do this? Road stuff. Yeah. yeah, they'll hold all this crap in there. Oh, heck yeah. I so mean, do you think this is like dangerous for the car? Bad no. for it? No, it's just why do you want to carry around that much extra weight and stuff you're trying to, I, I don't think, it, unless it's, you know, gets in this electronics or something. I don't think you see that happening. Okay. So not an emergency, but it's something you'd want to clean every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way to prevent it from going in. This is all open over here. Well, no, yeah, they'd have to do something. That's a redesign. They would have to somehow block off more of that area. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do that. Well, I'm not going to do it. Oh, here's some more. You could have like a another chunk of diaphragm, you know, dirt made out of rubber. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> All right, how about uh, do you got a tread thing? Check tread on the tires. Yeah. I want to check the tread and see if I want to know if the they're wearing if the tires are wearing evenly. It's important that you keep the dirt up. Does it build up in there? No, it doesn't really. Okay, then you're lucky. Yeah, I know. So we got 1364s. Okay. All right, I can just read it. 30 seconds. We're gonna call it so back, back driver side tire, 730 seconds. I shouldn't have dropped it like that. It's a little better. 1564s, yeah. a little bigger. Okay, so fronts. Front uh, passenger side is a little tiny bit less worn, but pretty close. Okay, so driver side is is uh, the best one by just barely. And then passenger front is uh, is better than both the back, and both back tires are pretty much even. Yeah, so uh, both back tires are pretty much even. So it looks pretty good. It's definitely not time to rotate, but they are wearing differently, so that's good to know. Fluid leakage. Okay, so the shock is looking good so far. It looks really good, and this is clean, too. Cool. Thank goodness for that. All right. So we're not taking it off, but uh, just from looking at it really quick, it looks good. Okay, this one you can't see too well. Right, we got the tire in the way still. Oh, I can see it. You okay. looked it up. Can you see that? I can. Look at my phone. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay. I don't feel anything. It's very dry. Okay. Good. All right, so just one last shot. This is the pile we pulled out of there. We just kind of swept it away um, to get back under there and put everything back together. Uh, but that is, yeah, a lot of dirt. And again, none of these are rocks. This is all just, some of them look like rocks, but they're just dirt. All right, so I didn't bring this up, but this was noticed. So what did you say? I said the brakes look 
awesome. Yeah. Really, really good shape. And why? Do you know why? Do I know why? Yeah. <laughs> no, not because it's a Tesla. <laughs> no. It's the regen. I don't hardly ever use the brakes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those electric motors are slowing me down for 90% of the driving. Right, so they overdid, they overkilled on the brakes. The pads are not worn, nothing's worn. I mean, it's like they're fairly used. And that says Tesla right there, that's cool. Yeah. That wasn't something I was planning on looking at, but I'm glad you noticed it. Yeah, most likely uh, we'll never need a brake job. <laughs> that's what they say. Uh, no, no, it's gotta come, oh, it goes over this bolt. There you go. <laughs> oh, and it just stays up there too, that's nice. All right, so they want 129 foot-pounds. That's not too bad. Okay, good. I thought like that would that. be some crazy number. All right, so I'm back home. Uh, I just wanted to go over a few of my thoughts after kind of what we just found, and I'll address kind of the, probably the biggest thing is the dirt, you know, getting trapped in the bottom of the car. So there is that aero shield, um, and you can see it's like a plastic uh, cover on the back, and it's to help with aerodynamics and to, I guess, maybe protect some of that. But I think the main purpose is aerodynamics. And the biggest problem is that it's open down there. So we kind of talked about this, and Tesla doesn't have much of a choice. I mean, you can't close all that off because um, there's moving parts and everything. So I have almost 16,000 miles on my car, um, and I've driven about 13,000 of those. Um, it was a test drive car that I bought. Um, but, you know, it's not even a year's worth of, of driving on my dirt roads, and there's that much kind of stuff back there. So am I kind of going out and saying, like, oh, my gosh, if you live on dirt roads, you can't buy this car? Of course not. I'm going to keep the car. This isn't... Um, for me, all that concerning, I'm sure there's going to be some comments, you know, like, oh, what a piece of crap, and this car is terrible, and I, I can't believe it's designed that way. Um, I, I don't know enough to make comments like that. Um, all I know is there was nothing wrong with the car. I had just seen this online, and I wanted to check it out and see if I was seeing the same thing on my car. My VIN is about 121000 It was built October 2018. So I think, for me personally, that's just something I'm going to keep up on, you know. Um, the car is pretty low maintenance, but no car is zero maintenance. So maybe once a year or twice a year, I'm just going to pick the car up and I'm going to open that up and just dump the dirt out and put it all back together. Uh, so for tire tread, that was actually pretty good news. I was happy to hear that. So when I picked up this car, like I said, it was a test drive car and it actually had the 19s and I uh, switched to the arrows. I don't remember how many miles these tires have on them right now, but I'll put that uh, on the screen and you can see that. And they're all looking pretty good. Uh, the rears are wearing just a tiny bit more than the fronts, uh, which I do a bunch of highway driving. And I, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the front motor, you know, when you're cruising on the highway, you know, you're like set at 75 miles per hour. I think the front motor shuts off to save energy and only the rear motor is doing the work. Um, so it makes sense. Um, but so for me, I wasn't ready yet to rotate the tires, but they do need to be rotated. I see some people say when you have an all wheel drive car, um, specifically talking about this car, uh, they wear evenly. Just know that's not always the case. So you should keep up on um, checking your tire tread and seeing if you need to rotate your tires. Uh, the shocks. So, you know, we didn't take apart the shocks or anything, but that's another thing. I get a lot of comments on people see me driving on my dirt roads and they're like, whoa, you're destroying that car. Like the shocks can't handle that. Or, or they'll just ask, how are the shocks doing? Are they keeping up, you know, with the driving you're doing? And they look fine. So I guess you're supposed to look for any kind of like leakage in the shocks. That would mean they're um, taking too much stress or maybe they're breaking down, but they looked clean. There was no, no fluid, uh, of any kind coming out. Again, I'm not like a big car guy, so I don't know all these, you know, different terms so you can correct me or whatever, uh, or complain about what I'm saying. And then of course the brakes, that was pretty funny. I didn't even think about looking at them cause I know that they shouldn't really wear, but I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we, we looked at them and they look perfect. They look brand new. Um, and the comment was something like, you're never going to have to change them, you know, and that's what Tesla says. So that's cool. So overall, um, I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed that all of that is kind of getting stuck up there. My father-in-law wasn't too concerned, uh, and he's usually really critical about these things. So if it was something that was going to, you know, ruin my car and, and be a big deal, I, he really would have told me. He, he wouldn't have held back. And he just said, well, you know, it's kind of a waste. You're carrying all this extra weight around for no reason, um, which hurts your efficiency a little bit. But beyond that... Um, Probably not a big deal. Like I said, I'll just clean it out um, once or twice a year, and that's that. So comment below. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, overall, I, I think I'm happy with uh, the way the car is holding up, uh, especially on my roads. They're they're pretty rough most of the time. Um, you know, the dirt is a little annoying, but it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, just keep up on it, and uh, hopefully the car will do well for a long time. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.